you as companies all sell leasehold properties um, and I think many of them will have clauses in um, the contracts about escalating ground rents. Um, how do you justify those clauses? Do you want me to kick off? Yes, please. Um, what the problem is, I suppose, there's no real definition what an owner's ground rent is. Um, if you look at it and you look at the definitions, there's not really there any definition of what onerous is or a definition of what new build is. Um, that's led to a bit of confusion around the numbers and it's led a bit of confusion around the scale of the problem. And that confusion has led a little bit of confusion to the customer. Personally, my own view of what an owner's ground rent would be is a one which materially affects the customer's ability to sell or, or to um, dispose of their home. Personally, I'm not aware of any persimmon leases that where that's the case, so I'm not really sure where the definition comes from. Can I just add to that, Chair? We, uh, as Bellway, we don't have any onerous leases. Our standard lease is based upon a rent review based on RPI, which is acceptable to all the main lenders, so we haven't got any complaints with regard to onerous leases. I think this uh, I'd, I'd sort of echo what uh, David said. Where a ground rent, where a ground rent value becomes disproportionate to the value of the home, I think that's where you capture a, an onerous or a defective lease. Right, but wh why an escalation at all? Because you're not doing more for collecting more money, are you? Well, uh, well, I think uh, the purpose of an RPI increase is an indice that's acceptable to the lenders. And the, uh, the purpose, as I understand it, is to ensure that the ground rent at the time of purchase is the same in real terms at some point in the future. That's the but idea. But why are you not doing more for it? No, but it's just an indice that's acceptable to the lenders. Yeah. So is, it, is it acceptable to the person who's buying the property? That's surely the test. It's a good question. Um, I think the purpose is simply to design that the value at the point of sale is in real terms the same value in 25 year time, uh, 25 years time. That's the idea. Really and it's been common. But maybe go back. What more you're doing to actually bring more money in? Then perhaps we better an answer now. Yeah. Uh, th thank you, Chair. Firstly, um, I welcome the opportunity to appear um, before the committee today, um, both to repeat our apology um, to those customers who have been affected by a very specific lease that Taylor Wimpy um, have historically. Uh, which was a 10-year doubling ground rent um, lease, and also if um, I have the opportunity to explain the measures that Taylor Wimpy um, have taken to date and are taking um, to help resolve that issue for our customers. We'll, we'll come back to the compensation scheme yes. in due course. Right. Um, in, in respect of the um, of ground rent and uh, just picking up on the matters of, of um, RPI, um, the expectation is that that's merely to an, uh, an RPI index is merely to reflect the the progressive value of uh, value of money. Right, not necessarily the value of what you do. But anyway, that's uh, nobody's managed to explain that quite yet. 